How's it going guys? This is Sam back with another uh, solar powered car video. Um, on the last video of the full car build, I covered the the how of how to make the car, but I didn't really talk a whole lot about the why and what my personal reasons are. And a lot of people kind of said, what's, what's the point of something that only adds 10 or 15 miles a, a day to the range? Um, so I thought I'd make this video to answer, answer that question. Um, I work about 25 miles from the house. That gives me a 50 mile round trip commute. And the vehicle that I was making this in before I built this was my 2001 F-150. Say hi truck. And the, the truck's great. I haul a lot of big heavy stuff for um, not only work, but other projects that I do back here that I'll do videos on later. And while I need the size of the truck, I really don't need the fuel efficiency. At 14 miles a gallon, here, let's crunch some math. We do 50 miles a day. Five days a week is 250 miles a week. 52 weeks a year is 1,300 miles. At about 14 miles a gallon, that thing's getting uh, used about 928 gallons of gas a year. Somewhere around three bucks a gallon. You're paying, I, I was paying for years, uh, right, right under $2,800 a year gasoline. So, if I could find a way to eliminate that expense and only drive it one day a week um, or near to the house, not the full 50 mile commute, obviously that would have a lot of value to it. So I was looking at the first generation electric vehicles for a while and the Kelly Blue Book value on these 2011 Nissan Leafs with, you know, 40, 50,000 miles on them, the, the value is actually down to in the low 3000s um, because of all the battery issues these have had. Uh, People have lost their kind of faith or confidence in them. They don't want to deal with the hassle of the range anxiety. And so the resale value is just plummeted. See, I picked this one up for $3,000 off Craigslist. Um, after a little bit of haggling, not even much. I was looking for one that had a few little dents in it and some scratches. You can see the uh, passenger side fender down there had a few dents and that helped me get that the price down to something where the vehicle could potentially pay for itself. If I was spending 2,800 bucks on gas, I bought this for 3,000, then I'm, I mean, after driving this thing for a year, it's paid for itself. And then um, it's got parts on it that once the, the battery degrades past the point you can use it, you can actually take the battery pack out of there and use the batteries in that for other projects or sell them on eBay. If you look up uh, Nissan Leaf batteries on eBay, they're actually, the value of the batteries is around $3,000. So you can, there's a, a really weird kind of situation where the pieces of the car disassembled are worth more than the car itself. Um, so I'll drive this for a couple years until I, the battery capacity goes the rest of the way down and I can't get, uh, can't get anywhere with it anymore, you know, once the range, effective range is 20 or 30 miles and it becomes kind of useless. Uh, I'll drop the battery pack out of there, um, use the batteries for it or sell them and make back most of the 3000 I spent on the car and it's already paid for itself uh, once or twice over, two or three times over if I drive for two or three years. But the downside of that is when you buy one of these old ones you've got the, the range loss. This vehicle, um, when I bought it and now, you know, I've only owned it for a month or two, a month. Um, the rain, the maximum range is 46 miles. So that wasn't going to get me the full 50 to work and back. And my work didn't have any charging stations. So I was in a situation where if I could find something to just squeeze a little more range out of this thing, I could get it to pay for itself in one year. The great thing about this system is because it's so modular, because all the components of it can be I mean, when the car dies a year or two from now, they can all be removed. Um, actually, this system right here, where I'm going to build a chicken coop in the back, and this is probably going to be the the power system 
for that to run the ventilation fans and other stuff. Or you can take the system off and just put it on another EV. These panels last 20, 25 years. The charge controller, the inverter, all this stuff is made to last way longer than the two or three years of life this car has left in it. So the expense, the 20, 2200 dollars $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, that I spent on all the panels, the wiring, the inverter, the charge controller, all that, that value isn't really lost either because that's getting pulled off and going on the next old EV that I buy. Three years from now, instead of a 2011 Nissan Leaf, I might buy a 2013 or just the, the cheapest old used EV I can find that'll probably also have, you know, range, range loss down to a point where I, I have to have some kind of charging station put on it. So now after adding these panels and gaining the ability to, to charge this thing, while I have it parked just any parking lot anywhere, I've, I've created a vehicle that can get me to and from work, which is what I needed, just a daily driver, to replace the, uh, the very expensive to drive uh, F-150 over there. And at the, at the end of the three years, two or three years, you know, when this thing dies on me, finally, when the battery degrades to where I can't use it anymore, it's like I've still got my truck the whole time. So the system's paid for itself in a year. I get to keep my old vehicle. I can part it out after it dies for what I paid for it. And the system on top of it is modular and can be removed and taken on, placed on something else. Um, you can, if you're curious in all, all the math, the exact numbers, the finances, uh, shoot me an email at lonestareasyev at gmail.com and I can walk you through some of the, the specifics and, and exactly how much uh, savings and revenue you can make off a car like this. I estimate that the savings and revenue from parts minus the costs come out to, for, for me and for anybody who drives a really fuel and efficient vehicle, is going to come out somewhere around two or three thousand dollars a year in savings of revenue per year that you can keep this thing limping along. Um, the last video a lot of people also were on various websites on here we're kind of questioning how much wattage you could actually get out of this you see since the last video I've added the, uh, the well, what's that thing called the sunscreen that goes across the main window that's another hundred watt panel right there um, the wiring is hanging outside of the vehicle now I've got some uh, shorter wires on order from Renogy so obviously I'm gonna hide all that and of course as I start walking to the back the Sun goes behind the cloud but it looks like that one's about to move. So let's take a look at the wire. All right, this is a recording of the uh, solar panel car in full sun. It is 3.45 in the afternoon and it's pulling 218 watts. Clear sky, sun's pretty much directly overhead, so almost optimal conditions for you to be able to get that much out of it. If you get about eight hours of sunlight a day, that's going to be what eight times 200 is 1600. Um, you're pulling around 1.6 kilowatts just off your solar panels. Uh, this vehicle gets about, uh, we'll call it four and a half miles per kilowatt hour. So from the solar alone, you get the 1.6 times four and a half. Um, most of your charge actually comes from your auxiliary batteries that you plug in and, and carry with you. So. By no means is this thing getting all of its power from the sun. That's not really ever what was even intended for the system. It's just a, the the solar certainly helps. I'll take the extra six or seven miles I'm getting from the solar, and if I can figure out a way to cram some more panels on here, then I can do even better than that. But uh, the the batteries that you charge and carry with you are definitely where you're getting at least 60% of your additional range from. So I hope that explains a little bit of the the why behind the vehicle. And uh, if you guys have any questions about any of this, just uh, 
hit me up in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.